Hello everybody and welcome to my next tutorial. In this tutorial we're creating a kind of um, Japanese castle, fortress. I use pure ref for um, displaying the images. I just looked up for the Nagoya building. This is one of the biggest castle I think in Japan, in Japan and I find a lot of images so you can just drag and drop the images here and it will be above the blender so you can watch it you can scale it so this one is very useful but let's get started the first thing I just delete the cube I create a new collection something like that and I click on the collection and I'm just creating a plane so the first uh, first thing I will do is just drag this one out and I use the knife tool to cut I think this first two uh, yes now press C so it will go straight and spacebar C spacebar something like that nice then I just go to move make a little bit mm, something like that and I will drag this up okay next thing I just grab all the angles and push them up so this will be kind of the first part mm, here this one with a little bit little bit of a edge that goes up yeah I think it's okay like this oh the first thing I just need to do is save just Nagoya fortress or something like that or just Japanese fortress good the next thing we create again a new plane just click 7 I go to the modifier at subdivision surface and you can see makes kind of this new modifier so you can click simple so it will remain like that what we just let it to cut more Clark and we just apply it we drag it up rotate it you have here the rotate menu 90 degree X and we just delete the faces okay next thing again I just press 7 push this a little bit here blah as to scale it a little bit down just put it on this edge here so then extrude it maybe it's a little bit too big at the beginning a little bit less I think yeah I think this one is okay then we go again to the modifier and attach an array modifier and you can see it duplicated and you can set the count you can set the uh, yeah how many I think the uh, but we can put it to zero and you can think say oh, yeah, now you can put um, make it a little bit wider yes or you can change all of the destination so what well, honestly I use it just to make kind of this one here now I can just perfect I think here 29 hmm, okay 
I'll just drag this down to check if it's okay also here. I think it's okay. We can apply it. The next thing, we select everything with A, go to bisect. Oh, sorry. Again, go to bisect here in the mesh and just started to cut it here down. Mm, I don't see it here. Just need to push it a little bit up. Again, bisect. I'm just go straight to this edge here. You have here the modifier, so you can just clear inner or outer. So out is the right one. And we just do the same thing here. Perfect. And then inner. Okay. Next thing is we go to with the numpad three. Just rotate it a little bit that it will fit in here. So okay. Next thing is we just need to put this free up. So just take this one here and here also hmm. it's not perfect but it's not bad Maybe a little bit rotating. So, the same with here. Good. Press one, and I can just rotate it. Okay, perfect. Uh, when you see that the gizmo is here, so when you want to change it, like this one here, but you can uh, you see it will be on this side. You can just go to ob uh, object, set origin and origin to geometry. So it will just align it back. Okay, perfect. Next thing is I save <laughs> before we lose everything. Nice. Next, just duplicate it. I'm rotating it 200. Oops. 180 degrees. The same, I'm rotating again both 90 degrees. Nice. Uh, I just want to set a little bit on the look to you. So I just go here to ambient occlusion, set it high. So it's a little bit better to look at it. Okay, I think this one is good. So just go to solid and we just go again. I'm playing a play, a playing a plane. So you know, you see, I'm a very big fan of planes. Just like to start it with the planes every time. 
So edit mode. Push this one a little bit here. So you can see this one is a very big center. So we just need to adjust everything. Mm, just check it how it looks when I just scale it up a little bit like this. I think this one is this one is good. Yeah. Nice. I can just duplicate this one also and scale it a little bit up. This one is like the base. It's a little bigger. This one also. Just put it like that. Mm. Well, maybe not. It's okay like this one. Yeah, because this one is the other roof than the other one. So for the other roof, I think it's just enough when we copy paste this one here. Because this one is just solid black. So we have again a roof like that. nice good next thing is we can start creating like these things here Let's see it a little bit better here save it first uh, we create a new plane <laughs> drag it up and I'm just do -do -do. control R and subdivide it in the middle something like that then I'm just combine this two with F this one and this two so you can just press shift select everyone and press F so it will just fill it out good next thing is we just need to select here this two and again here two and press S to scale it. Nice. And then again, press here. Press S and Y. No, Y is false. X. Okay, S and X. So S, X, and enter. So it will just be again straight. Nice. Not bad. So we can just do the same thing with the roof again here. So we just add a modifier. Where have we the modifier? Here. Apply it. Then rotate it 90 degrees. Take the last two like the faces just push it here scale it down maybe just it's the same size than this two I don't then the other one extrude it good then you know Add an array. Ten. Okay, we can just go a little bit down, a little bit left. Good. Then we can just rotate it. Because sometimes when you rotate it, the size is a little bit dif uh, different. It's a little bit strange, but I think it will work. Like now, you can see. Oh, it's a little bit less. So we can just before we apply the array 
drag this one like that and this one you can just drag it up so then we can create like three and just push these a little bit in and again I just put this outside nice save it and the same thing shift D to duplicate it rotate it 180 degree and it will perfectly align here so this doesn't uh, need to worry you because we just put this one here you can just see it just create a new plane we scale it down something like that just extrude it one and then extrude it again back scale and extrude it hmm. the screen cast out away I don't know why oh now you are back sorry And you can see it has also a little bit like a stretching here. Okay, this one looks not so bad. Next thing is we just select this one here, press E. Uh, or we just take this one a little bit up to free, shift and select it. And now we can just do it a little bit better so you can just scale it here I'll just extrude it one times in and again okay I think this one is good we can also do the same oh no it's okay like this I think this one is good and uh, next thing is just I'm just I want to change it to random so we know which one we selected. Okay. So this one is the first one. Just scale it a little bit that it will go in it. Just create this one a little bit up. Okay. And scale it a little bit. think this one is not so bad we have one here and the other two is here sorry so I just think I just make a little bit wider so one two three and then again So we just duplicate it, rotate it 180 degrees, just let it like that. Mm. Yeah, and again, duplicate it, rotate it 90 degrees. Uh, not 90. Now again, 180. Hmm. 
So my Samurai Fortress is a little bit smaller. <laughs> it's a little bit difficult with the size from everything. But I think with time I just figure it out, but I'm also new to Blender, so it's a little bit difficult at the beginning. Just save it again. I think this one looks not bad. Okay. Next thing is we can just duplicate it again. This one that we just created. So we just need to do it again. A little bit. Scale it a little bit. This one will be here. So can just scale it also a little bit up so it's a little bit bigger oh no before i just forget it just delete it delete it excuse me we can create first um this kind of same thing here on the side so it just will um you can just uh, like how to say it it just we won't just see it so we create a new mesh a plane we go in the mirror modifier, press Y and X, go to edit mode, and then you can just extrude it. But first we need to wireframe it. So when you just put it out, you can see it has four now. One, two, three, four. You can just do one side, so everyone, every side you will do it a little bit faster. So we can just make something like that. And then just take this one here, extrude it until we are here. Press again solid, extrude it up. And rotate it. A little bit that's a little bit difficult because the gizmo is a uh, a bit strange i don't know how you can make it again that it looks like this i didn't figure it out how you can do it but that's not a problem now um i think i just will do again one here so it goes up like that uh, maybe this too also. And then again, took these sides here. S, X, now S, Y. Now S, Z. Nope, I think it was Y or X. Hmm. Strange, doesn't work, but it's okay. You can just do it like manually like this. Okay, can just control R it again and push this one just down. Okay, doesn't look bad. So now we can just take everything here. One, two, three. When you just say it's okay, like this one here, we can just take one, two, three. And first thing we just need to apply it. So one, two, three, and four, and this one also. Uh, yes, perfect. And then you can go to object and join it together. So now it's one mesh, and then you can go again to set origin. So it's in the middle of the mesh. You can see it on the color. Now it's everything is purple or bluish. I don't know. So we can just copy again so it will just it's a little bit easier and just scale it a little bit bigger nice i think this one is also good so i just will control again make it a little bit bigger So this one was here, and this one is the second one. So we just duplicated this again. Oh, 
maybe a little bit bigger here. Nice, now we can just I think make the same here also. Just push it out. Oh, this one is also false, so just need to rotate it to 180 degree. But then we can join it together. What? Oh, this one's perfect. I just need to apply the array, sorry. <laughs> Object join, nice. And you can see it again, change the color. So we can just duplicate it again. Scale it a little bit. Just check it how it looks. Just scale it a little bigger. I think until here. Just play it around like you, you like it but for me i think this one is good just that you cannot see the edges nice and i think on the other side they have also two so we just duplicate it rotate it to 180 degree and just do it like that okay and save it again just watch it on the look you i think it doesn't look so bad like that okay nice the next thing is we duplicate this one again so now we are on one of the biggest one so this one one two this one is also just one. Maybe a little bit uh, scale it. Yes, nice, perfect. And then again, we just duplicate it. Angle like that. Oh, oh, didn't see that. Oh, does him? Did he miss an array? Oh, this one is not so good. Oh, I'm sorry. I just ah oh, fuck. I just need to delete this now. I just forgot when I joined it one array. So apply it, apply it, and again join. Oh, it can happen. I just saw it on the right <laughs> time. I'm sorry again. Now I just need to do it again, but it's okay. This one was fast, so. Scale it a little bit. Move it like, oh, that's too much here. Again. Rotate it degrees. Strange is a little bit bigger. I don't know why. Okay, I think this one is good. I'll save it again. Oops. Now, okay, we have these two here. again this one here Let's 
scale it a little bit down and duplicate it, rotate it 180 degrees. Sorry, I need to save it everything. I know you can just press Control S, but <laughs> nah. So now we're on the same level than before. I'm not just do the same here once. One and rotate it again on the data degrees. This kind of windows here, they're a little bit difficult because they have like the circle in it. I just didn't figure it out how it can make it without it looks shitty, I think. So I just need to practice this one here also. This one is good. Nice. Now we can just try to make the roof, the end of the roof. So we just create a new plane, scale it a little bit. We have one, two, three. That's, I think it's right. So we can just edit mode, straight up, control R. I make like the same than before. Something like that. And then the other just other thing that I need is I just extrude it like that. Then I just scale it again. Something like that. Now the only problem is that the roof is a little bit difficult to, to apply it here because you have one and then again another one. So this one is also a little bit difficult, I think. But you can make it, so we just apply again to two here. Make it like that and again as X and as X. So. But first, I think we just need to make this a little bit up. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get it like too big. I think these two are too big. Just scale a little bit down. Hmm, I think all of these are too big. I'm sorry. Nice. Okay, I think we just can take one of the arrays from here maybe. Yeah, we have it here already. So duplicate it, rotate it. Maybe we just work out like that. So we don't need to create every time a new one. So this one is very easy to apply it, but the problem is now that you really need to press Alt and then select one. So you can just select the whole round then you can just drag this one here down like that so now we can just count it again like this okay duplicate it rotate it 180 degrees 
and adjust it a little bit here. Mm -hmm. I think this one is good. Okay, nice. Well, so the next thing, what we forgot. So when you just want to work on this one here, you can just press uh, up the tab bar. I don't know, it's like this paragraph. So it's under the ask button and up the tab button. So you can just work on one selected mesh. Now we just need to cut it first. Just make it like here. A little bit random but it's okay so then we can just move this again up that it has like the kind of Japanese architecture style maybe just need to make this also a little bit up so the mesh will look a little bit better Or down. I think no, this one is good. Oh. No, here we have here a problem. Maybe it's just this one here. Hmm. Then again, press the same button. Oh, you can see the button here on the left. Sorry, I forget it. <laughs> okay. So the next one is we can just uh, not this one here. Mm, yeah, why not? I just duplicated this one again. Rotate it 90 degrees. Scale it a little bit down. Maybe it just will work like this. Oh, no, it's a little bit too. Oh, maybe it will work like this. Nice. So just put it until there. Now we just need to create a lot of, or maybe we just make it a little bit bigger. I think I just make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, come on, this one is good. Select this one here. <laughs> Why he doesn't want to be selected? Maybe just adjust it like a little bit of this. And here also. But I think it's okay. Now we can just make it more, I think. 23, it's not bad. Nice, good. Now we can apply it, select everything, go to mesh, bisect. First, I just go to wireframe so we can see this kind of edge. Is this the right edge? I think this one is the right edge. So again, bisect. This one, ah, oh yeah, it's this one here. And then outer. Just check it out. Yes, it's the right one. Nice. 
and just do again same thing go to wireframe so you can just press by z this was false okay again false sorry just take this edge here mm. oh it's okay that's okay nice good now we can just select everything like the other time with B well we select this one here okay we can just rotate it a little bit oh sorry just need to rotate it like that Okay. I want you to be selected. Press free again, rotate it a little bit. Okay. Nice. Save it first before you do everything else. Okay, and now we can just copy and paste it again on the other side. Rotating, press it, oh, press it here, and 180 degree. And just search it the right position here. Okay, and I will just, okay, first we just go to object and set in the middle and then I just try to rotate it again I just want to look that we can just also apply it a little bit on the other side not so much but I think when we just scale it a little bit because you cannot see it like really bad because the other one is there we just can cut it with the bisect tool Scale it down a little, something like that, and then we can just cut it down. I'm just try to do that. No, it's too. It's not so good. I think I just need to grab this here. Okay. Just do it again. But first wireframe mode, B sect, and cut it like this and change it. Okay. So now we have like kind of this here. We're gonna do a little much with that. So what can we do? This here, maybe we can just cut it also in the middle of something like that of the BSEC tool, like this one here. And just change it like that. And then I think we can ch cut it also in front. What I have here, this one is a little bit of so good. And then again, I just cut the front away here. Oh, it's my fault, sorry. Before we cut it down on the bsect tool we just need to say it that you need to fill so when you cut it like this away you need to say you need to fill so you can see it fills it up but 
I can just rotate it a little bit. But you can see it. Not too much. Too bad. Well, it's not perfect. But what is perfect in life, right? What is perfect in life? Okay, go to wireframe mode, select the other ones. Maybe just can just also rotate it a little bit. It looks that it goes a little bit up. Maybe a little bit less. Okay, nice. Press one. Oh, this one. I need to take also. Okay, just rotate it. Don't forget it here. We will close it again, so you don't, you won't see it. This one. It's just I think. That it looks like it's full so when you look at like from really long distance but you don't need to do apply the last thing here this one it's a little bit it's a little bit difficult i i just didn't figure it out how i can do it like it's better or something like that maybe i just need to make start array here and then cut it i don't know i just need to find it out First, I think with this one here, we are not so bad. Just apply it. It looks not bad. It's not be perfect or something like that. But just it doesn't need to look bad. Okay, just need to also rotate it here a little bit. Yes, here also. Okay, uh, what we can try is again the same method like the other one. We can just add a new plane. Push it up, add a mirror modifier with X and Y, select, activate Y frame mode, and then we can just push this here, like that, and select the other border, and just push it up. Okay. Push this here down like that. Create again free here. Select this one. Just find the right place. Okay. Maybe you can just apply it again. Like this. Push it a little bit up. And one, two, three, four, like this. And one, two, three, four, like this this
Okay, nice. So the last thing we need to, uh, we need to do is again apply it to your plane. You can just make it here. Just extrude it. This one is a little bit too big, so I can just something like that. And then again, push a little bit down. And when you just want to apply like the same thing like that, you can just create again one and two here. And just extrude this too, like that. Make like four here. So one, two, three, hoppa, one, two, three, four. Just drag them down when you like it. But you don't really need to do that when you don't want. But I think sometimes it's, little, it's not bad. Now the same side. Push it down. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then again, shift alt. So you can select all the verticals and just put it a little bit down. Like that. It's not like in the picture, but it's okay. I like that also. So uh, when you want to do like some decoration here, we can make kind of just check it. A new collection and an image as reference. Go to desktop. Um, just need to check. Sorry, I just need to check all my reference. Golden fish, right? The golden fish. Ah, oh, here is it. Nice. So you can just import it as a reference, drag it up. And then you can just create on the same one a new plane. Rotate the plane that we can look at to 90 degrees. Go to wireframe mode. But first, we apply a mirror modifier just on the x, uh, y axis. So when you want to work with that, you can do it without problem. Or maybe it's another one. Huh. Hmm, strange. But first, we just need to scale the picture a little bit down. Uh, I think we just don't need, we doesn't need, even need, I think, a mirror modifier. It's okay like that. Okay, nice. Then next thing is we can just go to vertex select, select every four vertex and delete, oh sorry, delete the verticals. Uh, and now I think we can just press control. Yes, and the right click the button. Just stay on control. And you can make kind of these things here. Uh, sorry. Oh, my cat again. So can make kind of just some decoration. Something like that.
so something like that doesn't need to be perfect but it's not a bad kind of thing to do just to have a quick result and because it's low poly it doesn't need to be like really really realistic you can do it realistic I think in this kind of method but just need to work it like that now so you can see it nice and here so just when you want to connect the last two press both and F good so now we can just delete the reference and you can see we have a kind of fish here press on the fish and press F extrude it and maybe you can just Mm, a little bit of uh, so control B to to add a little bit of um, how to say where we have it bevel it's a bevel or how to say it just like the edges it looks a little bit more better I think but it doesn't need only to be so this one is very easy attempt you can you can see it has also on the side and everything but just you can do the same method for the other one also and then again just duplicate it and to rotate it like that nice the next thing is I just select this one here shift D to duplicate it and when you want to have this kind of separate you can just press P and selection so this one is had its, its own its, uh, own edge now and then we can just kind of do the oh, that's a little bit too much one, two, like three, something like that. Just need to scale a little bit more, I think. Yeah, but I need it also just to adjust this one here really bad. So I can adjust this one also here. Now it looks a little bit, a little bit better. So the last one, I just let the last one without like kind of these because it's very, very little. So you can also, you really didn't see it. And when you want to make like kind of windows or something like that, I just do it separately. So I just make a new plane, like everything. <laughs> I make a little window, scale it a little bit up. These windows are very easy to make, so I just extrude it, extrude it again, and something like that. Um, rotate it 90 degrees again, and I can just apply it on the side wherever I want. Maybe we can just also add a color. So go to material, select it, make a new material. Mm, you just say base, window base, and then again a new one. And we can just create it black. And now just assign black to it and go to black maybe the specular so it's a lot of black <laughs> nice so again just duplicate it to I just don't want to create a lot of windows like this one here but you 
can when you want it. Mm. Something like that, maybe. Yeah. Then we can just duplicate it again. Put it here. Okay, nice. And duplicate it again. Now we can put here a lot of windows. One, two. Oh, sorry. Okay. Nice. I think we can just duplicate this one and rotate it so we have the other side also. 280 degrees. Something like that. Oh, it's a little bit. Just put it like this one here. Nice. And the other side also. So we just make this one here. Rotate it to minus 90 degree. And add the windows, whatever you want. Hmm, maybe one just here. Okay, and here I will add two windows. One, two. So, and then again. Here I will just add three. So six, sorry. Duplicate it, rotate it to 180 degrees. And apply it here. Just save it quick. And now I, I can honestly just select every window here. And I will just duplicate it and put it one down so we have like the same amount of windows here. Just press S to scale it a little bit and then again. Okay, now I will just put them like this. Maybe I just do it a little bit different so it doesn't look like the same. Sorry, just make like this. Like this here, and something like that. Okay, doesn't look so bad. Nice. So we can just apply another color or bash, but first, I just need to apply everything who has an array. So one, two, three, four, and I'm just joined together. One, two, three, four, and then join. Oh, sorry. This one has an array. 
join. This is joined and this one not. So now when I will do that in the beginning, it was a little bit easier, but it's okay. This one is also everything is joined. Nice, perfect. Oh, maybe it wasn't not so, so good that we join it, but no, it's okay. I think it's okay. But we can join this too. Okay, now we can just create a new material, which is say the roof base. Make it like in this bluish, like this, and add everything to the blue. Oh, sorry. So now this was a little bit of problem um, that I just connect everything now. I just need to connect it at the end or not connect it because now when you want to make another color like this, we just need to select everything. Or maybe it's just a bit easier. Uh, how, why he doesn't want to go? Hmm, strange. That's okay. But we just need to uh, just put it up here and we just need to take everything here manually. So it's a little bit more work. Again here. So don't connect it in the beginning. <laughs> it's not really that bad, but you will lose a little bit of time when you want to create it. So patience. Select everything here. Okay. And the last one. Now we create a new material. We said maybe hmm, which color is a little bit darker. So roof two, something like that. Assign it and you will see it. It will change already the color. But when we just make it a little bit darker, you can see it worked. Put it back again like that. And we can just apply this one here to the roof too. And this also, and we can apply the modifier and we can also set the origin here back. And the next thing is we can create a new material for the fish. So I just said gold. It looks like some kind of gold uh, here. So uh, not some kind, but just make a little bit of this one here and then when you go down to your properties you can add kind of metallic so you can just make like kind of these so the next problem is we will just need to do the same thing with dough but I can just put this down up and I will just duplicate this one here and I will scale it one and then again it's easier and I forget this one also so better for me put it up and scale it a little bit more and down now you because the everything will just 
the color will just uh, be the same so i just delete this one here nice and the last one when you want you can just also just delete this one here and put this one here but you don't need but this one is a little bit another color so i just will create it and i will say roof black so this one is this here so i will just assign the whole body here and i will just darken it out maybe now this one is a little bit too big but you can just sometimes trick it a little bit but that's okay for the propose and I will just delete this one also. Nice. And the same next problem is the same <laughs> like the other one. So I just recreated here the roof base. But I just need to make everything in this color here. Uh, just the same color sometimes. Yes, that's the same color, so I just need to add here a black. Just take with C everything and add the black here. I just look at now, oh, there's two black, so you just change it with the black on the other roof. Now we can do the same, but I will just delete it and extrude it here. This one we can delete also because I will just double cl uh, duplicate it. This one, rotate it 180 degrees, and just put it like this. Okay, and the same game like this. So you just need to do make this a lot of time. First, I just need to drag this a little bit down. Okay, nice, and I'm rotating this one also 180 degrees. Kind of this one. Okay, next step is to do the same here, but now I just create it again. Roof black, assign it, delete the other one. Shift D and rotate. I think when you go out with this tutorial, it will be in your head. Shift D and rotate. So again, roof base. Select everything with C. Mm -hmm. So here and again, plus roof black. Delete this one here one hmm, try a little bit also too one well, not so good so maybe it's better when I just watch this one here and scale it a little bit and look like in the middle for me sorry <laughs> again I'll just try to save it just push it a little bit up or maybe just two also one two and I think the last one is here so roof base and 
select everything from here. The side, don't forget the side. Assign it so you can see it. Delete it, duplicate it, rotate it. 180 degree and that's good so perfect the only thing is here is a little bit also black so we can just extrude it inwards like like this one time inwards it's too much sorry hmm whites a little bit maybe I just make it at the beginning like this here ah, okay so then again I just take the whole thing here at the roof base the only thing we'll change is this one here to black Okay, next last thing is create a new material, which is say it's stone to put like kind of grayish. A little bit. Okay, I think this one is good. So nice. So we created kind of Nagoya Fortress Japanese style. So this is my workflow when I want to create this. Now you can just, uh, oh, we forgot here one. And here also. So you can just make a lot of better things like this one is not perfect these last two are very very big maybe in the beginning you can just create one and then add this to these things as last so it's a little bit difficult nice as you can go to render I just close this now here and put a light maybe we can delete it light Click on your collection and we will just make a sunlight. And when you go kind of a little bit like here, you can just go on the view, viewport. Oh, sorry, align camera to view and you can see it's aligned on this perfect position. And when you click on your camera, can just go a little bit back so when you go on render render image it will just take this one that you see on the camera you can save it sorry when you want it on the image save as but you can really do a lot of things also you can add a background and everything um, when you want to add a background you just need to go to shading click here on world add a new note i think it's an environmental texture i'm not 100 sure we just see it and then i can open it i have on my desktop these backgrounds i think this one is not so bad why i don't see it oh no perfect now we'll just use light from the scene here so you have like kind of background so it's very easy and on the shading things you can also add a lot of things like ambient occ occlusion or something like that just to add it you just need to go again to your uh, object but you need to add all the things manually to the object. So when you want to add like a, sorry, an, add an ambient occlusion, like here, which can make on the base color. 
when you doesn't have it here on it doesn't work on the render so maybe when we go to the render you can see now we have here like amb ambient occlusion not much but you have it you can also change with the node uh -huh. but you get it so when you just add a lot of things you can just make with the ambient occlusion node editor I'm not so familiar with the node editor but it has a lot of very good things I just don't figure it out because when you go on the render image it looks a little bit of I don't know it's not so nice you have here also different colors but you can see it just in this editor just for checking how it will look. Nice. But just when you want to render it like this, image save as, and we'll just say tutorial Japanese castle. So, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. When you have question or something like that, please write comments. Um, that's my third video, so I'm really, really new to YouTube. So it will very help me when you just write it down what I can uh, make better. And yeah, I wish you a pleasant day. Bye.